Thank you for joining us. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Mashallah, Muru Zebra. In Prato Karazi, Kede Broko, and Mozondoria. In Kalemba Roskin, and Mozondri, in the Rosko, the Mozotoria. Shale <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Please, when you join us, help us to share. Take on. Take on. Holy Spirit, we ask that you take over. Mali baros kine mozondori antaras kine mozondori. Jesus. Holy Spirit, we take over. Cannot see you, Baros. Oh, Mali baros kine mozondori. Hey, Holy Spirit, take over. Hey, my little baby, rest in the bezigede. Rainbow, the dedicated, the dedicated, the dedicated, the protocolia. Lemba Roskin, the Mozondoria. In Baleke, the Bozondoro, the Mozondoria. In Kelebozo, breaking in the Mozondoria, and Tarika, the Mozondoria. In Kalebozo, breaking the Mozondoro, the Bozoto. Rebale zegede bende kede bende rebalo zebra kora zegede 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 Jesus take over ye na bosso kora kene mo zombre kene mo zontoria ta le baros kene mo zombre kene mo zontoria ta no holy shalle kano ma zebra in da ros kene mo zontoria Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Please, as you join us, you can help. You can help us by just, you know, speaking in tongues, praying in other tongues. You know, just opening yourself up to the Spirit. Open yourself to the Holy Spirit. Just begin to pray in tongues as you join us. God bless you. Maleba roske ne mozondoria. Inka roske ne mozobre inda roske ne mozondoria. Leba roske ne mozotoriata. Holy Spirit, we ask that you take over. We ask that you take over all that we are going to do tonight. We ask that you take over. Leza broke ne mozondori ke ne mozondoria. Impra toke leba zubre inda roske ne mozondoria. Holy Spirit, we ask that you take over tonight. Take charge of the meeting tonight. Take charge of everything we're going to do here tonight. La zubre inta ro. Impra toke razi ge de branto ke ne mozondoria. Melemba roske ne mozondoria. We have come here to have. An encounter with the Lord. We have come here for a divine encounter, Father. In Kalo Zebra Korakina Mazantaria. Please just open up yourself to the Lord. Open up yourself to what God is about to do tonight. We were in prayer this afternoon. Oh my God! We were in prayer this afternoon. The power of God was oh lezako raki ne mozoto riata in baroska labozi gedera kine mozonto. The power of God was awesome. The power of God was awesome. Meleka dora zike tera zike te limbra kora simbra koriata impra to karaske ne mozontoria in kaleba roska na mazanta. So tonight I want you to connect with the Holy Spirit. I want you to connect with what God is releasing into your life in this hour. Malimpra kora kina mazantara pure uia tora zankara kana mazantara. Say to yourself, I'm not going to be distracted. 
I'm not going to be distracted at all. All that God has in store for me tonight, I will receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. All that God has in store for us, we will receive it in the name of Jesus. All that God has in store for us, we will receive it. We will not miss anything that God has in store for us. In the mighty name of Jesus. So just begin to, begin to speak in other tongues, begin to pray in other tongues, just begin to worship the Lord, begin to worship the Lord, begin to pray in other tongues, please, it is important, Malika Toriata, let's saturate the atmosphere with fire, let's saturate the atmosphere with fire, Maliba Roske Nemo Zondoriata, Leba Roske Nemo if you can't hear me, please let me know. Re bazuka rakina mazanta riata. Liba roska na mazanta ra. In prato kala baruske ne mozonto riata. In galle baruske ne mozonto riata. Liba roske ne mozonto ro. In prato le bozubre ke ne mozonto ria. In kalle baru zibra kora bozinglete. Re de 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 bozubre ke ne mozonto ria. Please connect with our worship and let's just pour our heart to the Lord. God loves it when we worship Him. Father enjoys it when we worship Him and when we do it in spirit and in truth. In Kalazugada broske na mazumbre in taroske ne mozontoria. In Kaleba raska na mazumbre in taroske ne mozontoria. In Kalata raske ne mozobre in taroske ne mozontoria. Shele, Marikete, just continue to praise the Lord. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. Oh, Jesus, I am. Kalepa Roske Nemo Zotoria. That said, I'm yours, Jesus, all of me. All of me, everything about me, Lord. Hayelabo Zimbra Korianta. I release my mind to you, Father. I release my thoughts to you, Father. All that I am, Father. I release it to you, Jesus. I release it to you. Do it me with me and through me all that you desire. Let your name alone be glorified. Let your name alone be glorified. Let your name alone be exalted. Come on, just worship the Lord. Lord Jesus, you are my Lord. Say, the zebra, cora, kene, mo, zokoro, kene, mo, zotoria. Till the day you will come, Jesus, I am yours. Pour it out to the Lord. Say to Him, Lord, I am yours. I give myself to You. The totality of myself, Lord, I release to You. I release everything about me to you, Lord. I release my all to you, Jesus. The totality of me, Father. I release it to you. Everything about me, Father. I release it to you. Le sobre inta roske ne mozondoriata, le baroske ne mozondoriata, rige de broko ne mozondoria. Father, I release myself to you. I release myself to you. Shalege de rakiata, pour out your heart to the Lord. I want you to pour out your heart to the Lord. I want you to pour out your heart to the Lord. Forget about the distractions and just pour out your heart to the Lord. Say to the Lord, I am. I release myself to you. I am all, all of all of me. Everything concerning me, I release to you. I love this song. It's so deep. It's so deep. It's a man pouring his heart to the Lord. It's a heart who is hungry, yearning for the Lord, saying to the Lord, I don't have right over myself. I lose my consciousness that you will become my consciousness. I lose my abilities that Christ will become my abilities. Let me not go with my own strength, but Christ in me. The strength, the strength that is capable to lead me to the expected end that God has already prepared for me. Come on, release your heart to the Lord. Release your heart to the Lord. Release your heart to the Lord. Malika Torah Singe Debrokoria. 
Higede gede broske ne mozo toriata. Higede ne mozu breke ne mozu deriata. Liba broske ne ne mozo breke ne ne mozo toria. Lebo broske ne mozo toriata. Lebe broske ne 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 mozu breke. Ike lebo subreke ne mozo toria. Liba broske ne ne mozo toriata. Liba broske ne mozo torokoi. Ike lebo si breke. Interes ke lebo subreke. Eshelebo subreke tereke ke yeke. Limba broske ne mozo breke. Oshalebo subreke. Malikete. Jesus. Leke teres ke ne mozo toriata. Tonight we release ourselves to you, Lord. We release our hearts to you, Lord. Jesus, take your place. Take your place, Lord. In the affairs of our lives, oh God. Take your place. In our decisions, oh God. Take your place. Kasukete. Liba roski de mozo koria tarige de brokoi. Liga de ge de brosko no mozo ndoro kiata. Shale baros kede de de mo subleke. Shale gede bros kono mo subreke. Shale gede bros kono mo zotoria. It's as simple as that. Pour in your heart to the Father. I am hungry. I am tired of trying to do things on my own. I am tired of trying to make those decisions on my own. Father, lead me. Lead me. Walk with me, Father. Walk with me, Father. Shaleke teras kune mo zotoria. Le boros kine mo zotoriata. Walk with me, Father. Come on, declare it. Walk with me, Father. I don't want to go on my own anymore. I don't want to walk on my own anymore. I want to walk with you. Take my hands, Lord, and lead me through the path that you have prepared for me, O oh God. Take my hands, Lord, and lead me through the path that you have prepared for me. I refuse to be distracted. Come on, release your voice to the Lord. I refuse to be distracted, O oh God. Impalo zibreke ne mo zombreke Ali baroske ne mo zokoriata Continue to pour out your heart to the Lord I refuse to go on my own I refuse to walk on my own I refuse to make decisions on my own Oh God, lead me Lead me, oh God, lead me, oh God Lead me, oh God Take away distractions from me, oh God Take away distractions. I refuse to be distracted, oh God. I refuse to be distracted, oh God. Take away those distractions from me, oh God. Let them depart. Those voices of distractions, oh God. Let them be silent. It's important. It's important to be focused in the spirit realm. To be focused in what God is doing in this hour. It is important for you to know what God is doing. For you to sense what is happening in this season. Yes. The situation. The things that are happening around the world. Are fighting to silence my voice. But I'm not going to shut my mouth up. I'm going to declare the name of the Lord. I'm going to declare the name of the Lord. I'm going to magnify the name of the Lord. I refuse to allow fear to silence my mouth. To silence my voice. Come on. Release yourself to the Lord tonight. Release yourself to the Lord tonight. Release yourself to the Lord tonight. Release your heart to the Lord tonight. Release your heart to the Lord tonight. Release your heart to the Lord tonight. Malika de re de ge de brokono mo zontoriata. Malika te reske ne mo zubre ke yete liba roske ne mo zontoria. There are lots of things we're going to pray about today, but I just want the atmosphere to be right. I just want the atmosphere to be right. I want our hearts to be right. I want the distractions to be gone, so that we can approach the throne of grace as one. We can approach the throne of God as one. 
undivided, undistracted. Lord, we are focused to all that you have in store for us in the name of Jesus. We receive it, Lord. We refuse to be distracted. Every thought of destruction tonight is cancelled in the name of Jesus. Those thoughts of distractions, those ideas of distractions, those voices of distractions, they are here by silence in the name of Jesus. Glory, we worship you, Kaleba Roskene Mozontoria. The first thing we're going to be talking today, I'm going to, I'm going to be talking about something the Lord dropped in my spirit. That was yesterday morning. The Lord dropped that in my spirit. He said, majority of people are seeking for access. Majority of people are desperate for access. There are certain doors that you want to be open for your in your life. There are certain doors you want to be open in your business. There are doors you want to be opened in one area or the other. But G, but the Lord is saying to you that there is just one access you need. It's just like, like a passport. It's just like a passport. Without your passport, you cannot access the nations of the world. But with your physical passport, you cannot access the blessings of God. You cannot access eternity. So there is a passport that you need to acquire. That you need to acquire for you to access eternity. Both now and the blessings that God has in store for you. And the passport itself is Jesus. The light it is everything. In him, access can never be denied. We heard that word this afternoon. Access granted because Jesus is with you. Why did Jesus send his disciples to the nations of the world? Yet he did not give them a physical passport. Have you ever asked yourself, how come Jesus said to the uh, disciples, go to the nations of the world and win, dis and win, uh, and win, uh, and win disciples, make disciples of all nations. Yes, go to the nations of the world, make disciples. You don't have a passport, so how can you go into that nation? He wasn't talking about a physical passport. He was talking about the passport, the supernatural passport called Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He said God has given him a name that is above every other name at the mention of the name of Jesus. Access granted. Tonight we are using the name of Jesus. We are using the name of Jesus as a weapon against the strategies of hell, against the deliberations of hell, against the activities of hell. Every door that has been shut against you, Jesus says, access granted. There were no physical passports given to the disciples, yet he sent them to the nation because there is one greater than the physical passport that has been given to them. He gave them his name. He gave them authority. He gave them power in the name of Jesus and with that power access is granted I don't know in areas of your life where access have been denied Jesus says I tell you this evening that your access access has been granted if only you go in his name if only you go in his power if only you go in his authority access granted I pray for you in the name of Jesus in areas where doors have been shut in areas where doors have been shut Jesus is the way he is is the access that you need and because you are going in the name of Jesus access is granted there is no door that has the capacity to be shut against your destiny there is no door that has the capacity to be shut against your harvest that has the capacity to be shut against your manifestation I pray for you today in the name of Jesus that the doors that the Lord has opened the doors that the Lord has positioned before you you shall access them in the name of Jesus you shall access them in the name of Jesus it was so amazing when God said when I, when the Lord was saying this to me access granted why didn't the disciples go with any form of paper ID 
And I realized that's true, that's true, that's true. Jesus is the access you need. In Him, access can never be denied. In Him, with Him, and through Him, access can never be denied. What is it that you seek access with? What is it that you've been crying to the Lord? I need access. I need access. I need access. The Lord says access is granted. If only you go with the right name. If only you go with the right name. If only you go with the right passport. If only you go with the right passport. Go with that, the right passport. And the access will be granted. Whatever doors that were shut against you. Whatever doors that were shut against your predecessors. They cannot be shut against you. Because you are going not with the name of your grandfather. Not with the name of your forefather. Not with the name of your father's 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 brother but with the name of Jesus at the mention of the name of Jesus every knee must bow every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ himself is the Lord tonight you are going with the name of Jesus and every door that was shut against you in the spiritual realm it is opening right now in the name of Jesus every door that was shut against your destiny it is opening right now in the name of Jesus begin to declare those words Father in the name of Jesus wherever doors were shut against me wherever access were denied in the spiritual realm Father tonight I come with the name of Jesus and I decree and declare that wherever access were denied access is hereby granted in the name of Jesus. What power is it that can stand against you when Jesus is for you, when Jesus is with you, and when Jesus is in you? You can never be access denied. You can never be denied access. The Lord is giving you access to supernatural manifestations on the earth realm. Supernatural manifestations in the earth realm. The Lord is giving you access to breakthroughs. The Lord is giving you access. Access to divine elevation. Listen. Access to divine elevation. The things that could not, that were not, that were unable to be accomplished in your lineage. In your lineage. You are the first to stand out because God says with you, I have granted access. On the cross of Calvary, Jesus cried out, it is finished. Ah, it is finished has different interpretation. It depends on your situation. If, your, if doors have been shut against you when Jesus said it is finished, it means access granted. Doors have been opened for you. To somebody else, it means another thing. You have to interpret it according to what you're going through. According to what you're trusting God for. The word of God is for you. It's a mirror that gives you a perfect reflection of who you are. When Jesus said it was finished, when you look at yourself, I know that it, when Jesus said that, he meant that every door that has opposed my advancement is hereby destroyed and access has been given to me. I am going into the nations of the world. I am going into the nations of the world. I am impacting nations in accordance with the word of God. Come on. What is that access? What is that door that has been shut against your destiny? What is that door that has been shut against your career? Hmm. Please just pray. I want you to pray. I want somebody to say this prayer because this is the prayer that you've been waiting for. This is the prayer that you need to go to your next season. Your next level awaited this prayer. Your next level is awaiting this prayer. This is the prayer that you've been waiting for. Lord, why is it that the doors have been shut? I tried this one, nothing. I tried that one, nothing. I tried this one, nothing. And the Lord is saying, you need to pray the right prayers. Jesus is the access you need. Don't go about seeking for people. They will fail you. Simple. When God connects you with a man, he will help you. But when you connect yourself with people, they will disappoint you. And please don't get heartbroken when they disappoint you. Because it was your connection after all. Majority of people, I don't know why the Lord has brought this up. But there is someone that needs to say this prayer. Because you've tried to do it all by yourself. You've tried to do it on your own. You've done everything possible. But Jesus says, access cannot be granted without my name, without my presence. 
Inkaleka Tora Ziga Dora Kina Mazanda Riata. Inkaleba Roska Namazanda Rakiata. Inkaleba Raska Namazantaria. I pray for you that the right doors that you need to access your blessings shall be opened unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. The right doors for opportunities shall be opened up to you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you that whoever you need to meet in this season for you to be promoted, you will meet them in the name of Jesus. You will meet your Lydia's in the name of Jesus. I comfort Lydia wherever they are. You will meet them. You will not miss them in the name of Jesus. Those that have been divinely ordained to take you to your next season of manifestation, you will not miss them in the name of Jesus. God has opened those doors. God has opened those doors. I know there are adversaries there, but there is power in the name of Jesus to shatter the activities of the adversary. They shall gather, but not by you. They shall gather, but not by you. They will fall by your right and by the left. It shall not come near you. Isn't that what the word of the Lord said? Yes, they will fall, but they will not access you. They will not come near you because access has not been granted to them to, access, to come near you, to come near you or attack you. Therefore, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Jesus, that wherever you open the door out of negligence, majority of people, the things you're going through is as a result of negligence. You open the door carelessly. You open the door for the adversary. And when he came in, you are crying and asking the Lord, please let him go. But you welcomed him as a visitor. You gave him breakfast. You gave him lunch. You gave him dinner. And the next day he wants you out of the house so he can take over your house. Be discerning, be discerning, be discerning. The Bible, the Bible also warned you to test all spirits. Test all spirits. Do not open up your spirit to everything, everything, every individual that comes your path. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. That the people that have been in your life, that has restricted your access to the next season, to the next level of manifestation, may the Lord take them out of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord had to separate Abraham for Lot in order for Abraham to fully enjoy the blessings that he has been, that he has been, that God has given to him. I don't know who needs to live your life, but I pray whoever needs to live your life, may the Lord separate them from your life. You don't need the crowd. You don't need the multitude. After all, the Lord said in the book of Jeremiah 1, he said, he said, in my mother's womb, the Lord separated, he set me apart. He set me apart. He didn't put me with the multitude. He set me apart. It's not that I should be lonely, but he set me apart. Consecrated me and anointed me for a purpose. Yes, it might look like you are the only person, but God is bringing the right people to you. I'd rather be with the right people than be with the wrong people and be destroyed with the wrong people. Malika Torah Kinemo Zondoriata. Impra toka raski ne mo zondoriata. Leba roske ne mo zubreke. Inka lo zibra korianta. Rige debro koi. Inka lo zo korianta. Lipa roske ne mo zondoriata. Rige debro koliata. May the Lord separate you from the wrong people. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Whosoever is in your life that has restricted you access, yet smiling with you, yet smiling with you and pretending to work for you, pretending to be working with you, yet behind you, they are sabotaging you of your divine advancement. In the name of Jesus, we shift them out of your life. We push them out of your life. In the name of Jesus. Behind the scene, they sabotage you. They are like Elimas. Apostle Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, confronted Elimas. There need to be a season where you are going to rise up in the name of Jesus to confront that which has sabotaged you all these years. You cannot keep embracing the sabotage. You cannot keep pampering the sabotage. How long do you want to be sabotaged? Kare zeble kente reske ne mozeke. Impa lo zigre inda roske ne mozotoriata. Lepa roske ne mozubre keniata. Whosoever is in my life. Whosoever is in your life. That has been sabotaging you. And restricting you access. All these years. May the Lord separate them. 
May the Lord take them away from your life in the name of Jesus. I pray that you receive clarity. I pray that you receive insight. I pray that you receive direction when it comes to association and collaboration. You will not collaborate with the wrong people. You will not associate with the wrong people, but the Lord will be, bring you people in the likes of Lydia, who will be a blessing, who will be a blessing to your assignment, to your destiny, and that which God has ordained for you. It is better to have a friend than to have 20 enemies and call them friends. My God, Malika Dorakina Mazantariata. Majority of lives and destiny have been destroyed because of the type of association the people they choose to associate themselves with. Oh, Libaros Kenemozotoria, the people they try, they, they associate themselves with. I pray for you this season, the Lord will take away the chaff. He will take away the things that has been silently sabotaging you of your divine access. They know you, go, you, you going to that direction will be a blessing to your life. They begin to give you words that will discourage you from accepting that direction, from moving in that direction. They know that they, they know it is a good decision. They know it's something that will be beneficial to you. Yet they give you wrong counsel just for you to lose that opportunity. Be sensitive in this season. When people speak to you, listen to hear their motives. You can hear the motive of a man's heart through his voice. Come on, be discerning. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that you will be discerning in this season. Jesus, you will be discerning, you will be discerning in this season, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Karazigadoras kenemo zondoriata. Lebaros kenemo zotoriata. You will hear the motives, you will see the motives of people through their vocal cords. Jesus said, it is what comes out of a man that destroys a man. It is what comes out of a man that you know, that tells you what is in his heart. That tells you what is in his mind. Listen to his voice and you will know what his mind is saying. Is he always opposing your advancement? Is he always opposing your productivity? Yet you call it friend. I can't do without this friend. Yet the friend doesn't want you to be productive. Whenever you're trying to do something useful, he talks you out of it. He talks you out of it. He discourages you from doing it. And you call it friend. You call such individual friend. It is time to be separated from Lord so that you can access the blessings that are due for you in this season. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. I don't know who this is for, but whoever has been in your life for a very long time that has been sabotaging you, sabotaging you, sabotaging you of access, 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 access. Alibaros kana mazandara kina mazundariata. Implatoras kana mazandara. I don't know how to describe it, but there is somebody. You know, you've gone through issues whereby people have gone behind you to spoil the hearts of other people concerning you. These are the kind of individuals I'm talking about. These people have good thoughts for you. They have good plans for you. But some voices went behind the scene to infiltrate their hearts concerning you. And now what they see, what they were thinking initially about you, what they intended to do for you, they refused to do it because the wrong voice has sown a seed in their heart. Sabotaging you of access. Sabotaging you of relationship, sabotaging you of promotion, sabotaging you of opportunities. We pray tonight in the name of Jesus that the Lord will expose every of such individual. He will separate them from you. He will take them out of your lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on. The Lord will take away such individuals from your life. They will be uprooted from your destiny. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
such individuals will be uprooted from your destiny. I pray for strength in the name of Jesus. I pray for strength in the name of Jesus. May the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord strengthen you. May he grant you access in certain areas of your life. May he grant you access in the areas that you need it most. May he grant you access. The areas where you lost access as a result of vulnerability. As a result of ignorance. We ask for mercy. We ask for mercy. God is creating opportunity for you to access those things that you lost. Then the Bible says, if God will restore to you the wasted years, I prophesy to you right now, everything that you've lost, everything that you've lost, opportunities, relationship, finances, whatever it is that you lost, I pray for you, it shall be restored a hundredfold in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, it shall be restored a hundredfold. Whatever you lost as a result of sabotage, whatever you lost, as a result of enviness, I pray for you that the Lord will restore it. Come on, I pray also for discernment that the Lord will give you discernment. Discernment, you will become sensitive of the presence of the voice of jealousy, enviness. Listen, the voice of is speaking. People don't know when enviness is speaking. Enviness try to discourage you. Enviness try to talk you down. When you are trying to bring out your best, Enviness is saying to you, you are not good enough. Don't you remember this and that and that and that? He tells you everything that is not good about you. He refused to see everything good in you. She refused to see everything good in you. May God increase your sensitivity in this season. That you will be able to discern the voice of enviness and the voice of encouragement. Majority of people mistook the voice of enviness for the voice of encouragement. And so they took the ideas of the voice of enviness and they are crying, oh, I miss that, I miss that. But enviness does that because enviness cannot stand your victory. Enviness, envious people cannot stand your victory so they want to talk you down. They want to talk you down. They want to push your head down. They want to make you feel small. But God has not created you to be small. He has not created you to be small. You are significant. Whatever it is that wants to make you insignificant. If you were insignificant, Jesus wouldn't have wasted his time to die on the cross because of you. It is because you are valuable. You are what the blood of Jesus and so you are valuable. Do not let any voice, any voice, any character, any individual put you down. This is your season to lift up your head and say to yourself, I'm not going to remain in the cave where Jezebel wants me to be. I am a prophet and I'm, I'm going to prophesy as the Lord has declared. I am going to prophesy. I'm going to release the word of God. The threat of Jezebel chased Elijah to the cave. A prophet suddenly hiding in the cave because of the threat of a woman. The threat of an individual. Malika Toras Kinemo Zotoriata. Maleke Teras Kinemo Zondoriata. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Whatever has pursued you to the position, to the place of hiding, you have to hide and hide and hide. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that this is your coming out season. You are coming out from those places that situations has kept your head down. Situations has kept your head down. You are coming out from those places. Access is granted. God has given you access. Wherever the enemies have deprived you of access, God has given you access in the name of Jesus. God has given you access in the name of Jesus. Ayalo sagarakinemo zontoria. Father, I give you all the glory. Listen, there is somebody here. I don't know where you come from, but what I know is that the Lord gave me a picture of a red soil. The place has a red soil. The soil in the, in the, in the community or in that location is not, it's red. Uh, what is it called? Brown. It's clay. Brown clay. Brown. And on that soil, decrees were made against your life. Decrees were made to restrict your access. But Jesus said, who can speak against you when he has already spoken for you? When he has already spoken concerning your life. 
So right now, with the blood of Jesus, we invalidate every decree that has been made against your life. I don't know what location that is, but I know that the name of Jesus is the name of Jesus is a strong tower. The righteous have run to it, the righteous runs to it, and they are preserved. Because you dwell in the name of Jesus, because you reside in the name of Jesus, no evil shall come near you. Every decree, every declaration that has been made against your life is hereby cancelled in the name of Jesus. Le baruska na masundariata. The Lord is showing me that ever since that decree was made concerning your life, it's a lady. It's a lady. Since that decree was made concerning your life, you go here, the door is closed. You go there, the door is closed. It's near success syndrome. It's near success. You are nearly getting there. Something happens and it fails. Something happens and it fails. And you are almost being suspicious. Is somebody spying me? I didn't tell anybody about this opportunity. How come I lost it again? This has been what you have been saying to yourself. But the Lord is saying to you, I have destroyed those decrees concerning your destiny. The Lord is saying, the areas where access have been restricted concerning your destiny, access has now been granted. Right now we deploy angels to that location. We release angels into that location. Whatever has been done to against your destiny, whatever has been spoken against your destiny, whatever has been ecological Keriata has been used as a point of contact against your destiny. Such are hereby destroyed in the name of Jesus. Nobody can touch you. Nobody can touch you. No evil can come near you. You are a child of God. No weapon against your destiny is permitted to prosper. It can never prosper. It can never prosper. It can never prosper. In the name of Jesus, wherever the enemies wanted you to be, God says you are bigger and better. I push you out of that place of confinement. I push you out of that place of confinement. In the name of Jesus. Whatever has kept your destiny in confinement. Tonight I come in the name of Jesus and I release you from that place of confinement. I release you from that place of confinement. I speak to the womb of your destiny. I speak to the womb of your destiny. I speak to the womb of your destiny. You will not miscarry. You will not miscarry. You will not miscarry purpose. You will not miscarry. You will not miscarry. But you will deliver that which God has deposited in the womb of your destiny. You will not miscarry. In the name of Jesus, every assignment of hell to abort that which God has planted in you, it is cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus. It is cancelled in the name of Jesus. Every agenda to abort that which God has planted, deposited in your life, in your destiny, it is cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, I need you to pray for yourself now. Say those words to yourself. If you want to type them, type it. If you want to type it, type it. But I just need you to pray those words for yourself. Say it. I will not miscarry purpose. I will not miscarry my assignment. I will not miscarry my career. I will not miscarry in this season. Come on, just type it. Say it. Type it. Say it. I will not miscarry. It is impossible that I miscarry. It is impossible that I miscarry. Whatever has been orchestrated in in the spiritual realm, in the covens, in the altars of darkness, for me to miscarry in this season, it is cancelled in the name of Jesus. I will not miscarry that which God has deposited in my life. I shall deliver it safely. Haya Lucigra in Tariata. That which God has deposited in your life, you will deliver in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not miscarry. You will not miscarry. You will not miscarry that which God has deposited in your life. In your career, haha, shallege de brakora kena mazantaria. In your ministry, in your ministry, it shall come forth in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There is nothing that is able to abort the ministry that God has deposited in your spirit. Lebaros kana mazantariata. This is for a man of God. 
This is for a man. You don't even know that God has a calling. You don't know you have the call of God in you. You are wondering, you are asking yourself lots of questions because of the things that you that are surrounding you. But God has a hand in your life. God has a hand in your life. He will use you. He will do great and mighty things through you. And I pray in the name of Jesus that the seed that God has deposited in you, the enemy cannot abort it. Never. The voices of confusion cannot abort it. Leborosko no mozotoriata. Impratoke leboreske ne mozodoriata. Liparoske ne mozondoriata. Rige de brocole bozondoria. Ingratole bozotoria. The voices of confusion cannot abort that which God has placed in your womb. I don't know if you are married. I don't know if you are married, but please. If you're married, tell your wife the things that you've been going through, the things that you are, you know, they are quite uncomfortable. There are some things you don't understand what is happening. You don't understand. You know, you at times you feel the urge to pray. You feel the urge to want to do the things of God. You don't know how to do it. Speak to your wife about it. Hold hands with her and pray with her. Pray with her, not just once, but continue to do it. Because what I see is that the enemy is trying to sow the seed of discord. He's trying to sow the seed of confusion so that you cannot hold hands with your wife to pray. So that you cannot hold hands with somebody to pray. Because you need to hold hands. Because when two agree, you will chase 10,000. You will do much more when you walk in agreement. And that's why the enemy what is going to do is not going to stop. He's not going to stop because he wants to sow the seed of discord so that the hands cannot be in agreement. But I pray in the name of Jesus that the Spirit of God will bring forth Akila Bozubre in Tariata. The Spirit of the Living God. The Spirit of the Living God will give you clarity. He will give you direction in the name of Jesus. And that seed, that seed that the enemy is trying to sow, the seed of confusion and discord. So that your assignment will not be fulfilled. Such seed is aborted in the name of Jesus. Le baros kenemo zondoriata. Imprato kalaba raska na mazantaria. Imprato ke le baros kenemo zondoriata. Le baros kana mazantariata. So a few minutes before this section, the Lord gave me this scripture. It's from the book of Esther. Esther 7:10. So they hanged Haman. On the gallow that he had prepared for Mordecai, that the, then the king, the king's wrath was pacified. So they hanged Haman on the gallow that he prepared for Mordecai. So we are praying tonight. We are praying tonight. I, I guess you are ready to pray. Malika Torah Gana Mashantaria. Esther seven ten. So they hanged Haman on the gallows that he has prepared for Mordecai. This season. Whatever trap that has been prepared for you this season, whatever the enemy has prepared for you, it shall backfire in the mighty name of Jesus. What they have prepared, the gallows they have prepared, the traps they have prepared in your workplace, in your place of work, it shall backfire in the name of Jesus. It shall backfire in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not fall into the traps of the enemy. You will not fall into the traps of the wicked in the mighty name of Jesus. For if they dig a pit for you, they will fall into it. If they set a trap for you, it will catch them. Now Haman prepared the gallow for Mordecai. He was rejoicing. Telling his friends, celebrating. Tomorrow will be the last day we will see Mordecai. Hmm. Le baros ke ne mo zondoriata, rige de bracola mo zondoriata, inka le baros ke mazantara. He was celebrating, he was rejoicing. He never knew that the trap he prepared for Mordecai would be his downfall. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that whoever he's celebrating, waiting to hear evil reports concerning you, waiting to hear evil reports concerning your children, they will fall into that same pit they prepared for you in the mighty name of Jesus. They will fall into that pit they prepared for your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, 
Oli gadara singe deriata. Impra toke reske de bezege de breke de yete. In your place of work, in your office, wherever they have teamed themselves up. Come on. I saw people holding hands in your place of work. I don't know who this is for. And they had conspired and even ganged up in order to take you out, in order to kick you out. But I pray for you in the name of Jesus that whatever they have ganged up to do concerning you, it will backfire. They will be the ones to be kicked out. They will be the ones to be kicked out. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you that that which God has given to you, God will secure it. God will preserve it. You will not leave that place in shame. You will not leave that place with accusation. You will not leave that place with the name that they the stigma and the evil name that the enemy prepared for you. Jesus. Kalipa roska namazanta riata. Hosha lege de brakora ke namazantara. Who is this for? Who is this for? Jesus. Maliga dorianta. Malege de brantoki riata. Lemba roska namazantara. Whoever this is must pray. Pray. The Lord will reverse it. The Lord will reverse it. They want you to live there in shame. They want you to live there in shame. I saw a lady dressed in nursing uniform. Nursing uniform and I heard the word pin, pin, pin. A conspiracy against your pin. A conspiracy for you to lose your pin. Not just losing your pin, but you're going to go with a very bad name. But I pray for you that every of such conspiracy is reversed in the name of Jesus. Whoever has conspired against you, they shall fall victims. They shall be the ones to be caught in their evil traps in the name of Jesus. Leke teraskona mazubre intaria. Leba roska na mazumbra kana masandariata. Leko taraski ne mozondoriata. Imbra toke leba ruske ne mozondoriata. Enka lo zige derianta. I also pray concerning voices right now. Listen, there is somebody. There is somebody. There is a conspiracy against your voice. A conspiracy against your vocal cord. Why must we allow him to sing? Why must we allow his voice to impact nations? But it is not a man who gave you the voice. It is God who gave you the voice. And God did not just give you a voice, but he anointed your voice. Whoever has conspired to silence your voice, whoever has conspired to silence your voice, the Lord God Almighty is bringing them down tonight in the name of Jesus. Every conspiracy against your voice, every conspiracy against your voice, it is hereby cancelled in the name of Jesus. Haman was busy enjoying himself, drinking and celebrating, making merry. Possibly that's what they are doing tonight. By tomorrow, we will hear evil reports concerning them. But I reverse it in the name of Jesus. I reverse it in the name of Jesus. That which the enemy expect of you, that which they desire to happen to you, it shall backfire in the name of Jesus. Oh, I love it when God is fighting for his children. I love it when God is fighting for his children. He normally says to his children, stand still. Come on, stand still and know that I'm God. You don't have to fight. Relax. Sing and dance. Sing and dance. I remember times the Lord would just wake me up at the middle of the night. And I will start dancing. He keeps me there. I dance for the next two hours. And then... Uh, my husband waits, my husband says, are you alright? I say, I'm perfectly alright. And then the children, they, uh, some of them wake up and, Mom, are you okay? I am fine. You are dancing at 12 midnight. You've been dancing since 12 midnight. I say, the Lord wants me to dance. You know, at times when the enemy wants you to do something else, the Lord is saying, dance, give me praise, glorify my name, let me fight for you. This is what is happening in your case. It's not you who is going to fight. God is fighting for you tonight. God is fighting for you tonight. They that said they will not hear your celebration. They that said they will not see you eat the good of the land. The Lord will take them out. And you will eat the fruit of the land. You will see the good of the land. In the name of Jesus. Say, Yalobaruska Namazandariata. 
Holy Spirit, help me tonight. Maliga doras kine mozontoria. In kalo zokora kine mozontoria. In pratoka labaras kine mozontoria. In kale baroska na mazandara. Forty-five. I don't know what has to do with forty-five. Forty-five between the age of forty-five to fifty. That was the year your mother died. And that has been prepared for you as well. But whoever this is, you will not die in the name of Jesus. Every ordinance of death against your life, every ordinance of death against your life is cancelled. You will not repeat the same demonic circle. You will not repeat the same demonic pattern. In the name of Jesus, whatever cut short the life of your mother will not cut short your life. In the name of Jesus. 45, I saw that word. 45 and it goes down to 50. Between 45 years to 50. Jesus, wherever you have been marked, wherever the enemy has marked you out, Wherever verdicts have been made concerning your destiny, the blood of Jesus is able to invalidate demonic verdicts. And it is happening right now in the name of Jesus. We serve a living God. We serve a God who is not a man that he will lie. He is not a man that he will lie. He has spoken in his word that with long life he will satisfy you and show you his salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus, every decree of death, every decree of death, every verdict of death against your destiny, against your life is invalidated. It is cancelled in the name of Jesus. Lay paros kenemo zobre interiata. Li paros kenemo zandariata. Rige dege de. Reble teres kenemo zenge de. Radoble kenemo zubre ke. Ibalo zubra kenemo zantariata. What wickedness, what wickedness, what wickedness. Maliba roska na mazanta riata. Megeba lo zibra koreata. Impa lo zokora kine mozobre. Inga lebereke debreke in chekeche. Lesikra inta roske ne mozontoria. We cancel it in the name of Jesus. With long life, the Lord will satisfy you. He will show you his salvation. You will eat the good of the land. You will eat the good of the land. You will enjoy your harvest. You will not be cut short in the midst of your harvest. Ha! Le sakori and the ruske ne mozotoria. Ekele baruska na mazantaria. Woman, in the name of Jesus, you will not be kicked out in the hour of your harvest. You worked really hard with that man. You labored really hard with that man. When things become good, when things started picking up, when things are getting better with him, that is when. The people around him are considering to bring somebody else who will fit his statue. Where were they when you started with him? God, I pray for you. Every gang up against your marital destiny. Every gang up against your marital destiny is hereby cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus. As many that are working really hard to take you out of your marriage, as many that are working really hard to take you out of your marriage, they shall fail in the mighty name of Jesus. As many that have conspired, they have ganged up to take you out of your marriage, they shall fail in the name of Jesus. They shall fail in the name of Jesus. The God that you serve will prove himself and they will be put to shame. Look at Haman. He was drinking, marrying, celebrating, rejoicing. Okay, let me interpret it now. Let me put it in this dispensation. I always try to make things funny at times. The people who are conspiring against that individual, they are saying to themselves, yes, we will kick her out and we will bring this person. They have already made plans. They have already made arrangements. And tomorrow, God turned it around. That thing they wanted to do to you became their portion. This is how it will be. Like Haman, the gallows they prepared for you, they will enter it, they will be destroyed with it in the name of Jesus. The things they have mocked you with, the things that have made them ridicule you, God will give you in abundance. Relax. Relax. Do not let yourself be anxious. Do not let yourself be anxious or weary. God is in control. I love it when God fights for his own. 
when God fought for Jehoshaphat, hey, they were all scattered. His enemies, they teamed up and came against them. But God says what? He didn't say carry your guns and your cutlass. No, he says just worship me. Praise me, acknowledge me as God, and you will see my power. You will see my power. You will see my mighty hands against your adversaries. This is what I'm praying for you concerning tonight. As you worship the Lord, as you exalt the Lord, as you continue to magnify the Lord, do not waver in faith. You will see the hands of God against those who has conspired against you. You will see the mighty hands of God against those who has conspired against you. Shale ketaros kanama sandarakia. Empalo zabara kanama zandaraki de bozotoria. Enka leba ros kanama zantaria. Enka leza kata breke ne mozontoria. Imbra toka labara kanama santa. I will just, Holy Spirit, just do with me what you want tonight. Do with me. I'm available. I, I release myself. I yield myself that you will do with me what you want to do tonight. Say what you want to say tonight. Malika tora kina masanta. Lebra toka ras kanama zanta. In Kaleba Roske ne Mozotoria, in Kalo Zebra Corianta, Shalenga Doras Kanama Zandara Kiata, Epla Toras Kanama Zumbre in Taglosh, in Bratokre in the Roske Lebo Zubreke. Let's go to the next part the Lord gave. Then the Lord gave me Esther 8, and I begin to read from 5. Let it be written. To reverse, okay, and said, if it pleased the king, and if I found favor in his sight, the thing seemed right before the king, and I be pleasing in his eyes, let it be written to reverse the letter devised by Haman, which he wrote to destroy the Jews, which are all which are in all the king's provinces. Let it be written to reverse the letters devised by Haman. Even though Haman is dead, there are things that Haman has set in motion that needs to be reversed. There are things that Haman has set in motion that needs to be reversed. Though he was dead, but there are things that he has set in motion that needs to be reversed. Is somebody understanding what is going on tonight? Is somebody understanding what is going on tonight? Yes. They might have been dead, but there are things that they have set in motion that the Lord himself is reversing tonight in the name of Jesus. So it's a night where evil decrees have been reversed. It's a night where evil prophecies have been reversed. It's a night where evil prophecies, decrees, enchantment, whatever has been done to restrict you access is being reversed. It's been reversed. It's been reversed. It's been reversed. So I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Father, reverse it. Father, reverse it. Whatever has been done, whatever has been set in motion, whatever has been set in motion by the workers of iniquity, may such be reversed in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been set in motion against my marriage, whatever has been set in motion against my ministry, whatever has been set in motion against the destinies of my children, whatever has been set in motion against my career, whatever has been set in motion against my finances. Some of you labor like elephants. You eat like ants. You go to work, make all the money. Before you get home, the depths in your life has swallowed the money and it looked like you were not working. The things that have been set in motion against my financial destiny. Is it not when you have that you will give? Jesus. Oh, my liba roske ne mozotoriata. Lege taras kananana sandaria. The things that have been set in motion. Tonight they are reversed. In the name of Jesus. That is what happened here. I read it again. Let it be written to reverse the letter devised by Haman. We all know that Haman has been hanged, but there is a seal, there is a letter, there is something that has been set in motion by his wicked acts that the king has approved. The king has to reverse it. Tonight, what is it that has been set in motion against my destiny? Begin to pray. Father, let there be a reversal. Let there be a reversal. 
Let there be a reversal. Let there be a reversal. Some of you, they've said to you, well, you are going abroad. Is okay? Is it not when you come back with something? Hmm. Who is it? That I said you will remain overseas empty handed. You will return back home empty handed. You will not accomplish anything reasonable in the, in the land that you are going into. Whatever has been released into the atmosphere. Tonight is the night of reversal. The Lord is reversing it. The Lord is reversing it. The Lord is reversing it. Whatever has been set in motion is reversed in the name of Jesus. Every negative word that has been released concerning your destiny, it is reversed in the name of Jesus. Yes, some of them came to your house when you were a baby. Your mother thought they were friends. Your mother thought they were friends. They carried the baby in their hands and started releasing all sorts of negative decrees over the little child. Over the little child. And the woman watched her baby malfunctioning. As he was growing up, he was malfunctioning. The mother is crying. What is going on? This is not the child God gave to me. Somebody spoke in the life of that child. And tonight the Lord is saying you have the ability. I have given you the power to reverse every decree that has been made against the destiny of your children. Whatever has been spoken concerning your life as a child, whatever has been spoken concerning your destiny as a child, tonight the Lord is reversing it. Every decree made against your life is reversed in the name of Jesus. It is reversed in the name of Jesus. The word of God is establishing you. The word of God is strengthening you. The word of God is leading you. Listen, this is what Jesus came to do. He came to break you. He came to take you out of the shackles of the enemy. He came to liberate you from those things that have been ordained to keep you in confinement. You try to want to bring your head out, the, the feet are in chain. You try to want to bring your feet out, the head, oh, Liza, Karakine, Mozotoria. Years of confinement. But Jesus is here to take you out of that confinement. I don't know what has kept you in confinement. But I know a name that is above every other name. At the mention of the name of Jesus. Everything that wants to keep your destiny in confinement. Everything that wants to stand against your access. Everything that wants to limit your life. They are coming down in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight is your night of release. You are moving from glory to glory. Whether the devil likes it or not, there is no negotiation about this. You are going into your promised land. There is no negotiation. There is no discussion about it. God has spoken. And it is your night to be released into your manifestation. It is your night to be released into that which God has ordained concerning your life. Tonight is the night of your release. You are entering into your harvest. You are entering into your harvest. You are entering into that which God has ordained concerning your life. Any power that wants to challenge you will die because of you. Any power. Whosoever wants to rise up to be a stumbling block between you and your next season, the Lord will take them down like the wall of Jericho. Come on. You are moving into your next season. You are advancing in the name of Jesus. Declare it. Declare it. Say to yourself, I am advancing. I'm advancing. I'm advancing. I'm advancing. The word of God is working in my life. The word of God is working in me. Come on. Declare it. Let the devil hear it. I am advancing. I am not an ordinary person. I am anointed. I am anointed. I have access. Let the devil know you have access. He cannot restrict you of access. You have access in the name of Jesus. You have access. Jesus has given you access. He said in his name you will go anywhere. In his name you have it. An eternal inheritance that is irrevocable. You have it. Walk with your head high. Refuse to be limited. Refuse to be afraid. Haya luzabra kinemozontoria. Leba ruska na mazanda rakide bozondo riata. Leba ruska na mazanta riata. Continue to pray. The areas of your life where you want God to show up, where you want the power of God to be made manifest, begin to declare it. Let there be a reversal. Every decree that has been made concerning my destiny, tonight, Lord, reverse it, reverse it, reverse it, cancel it. 
Esther was a wise woman. She didn't just jubilate that Haman is dead. Haman is dead did not change anything. Haman's death did not change anything. But revoking that decree was what made the difference. Revoking that decree was what made the difference. Now let there be no condemnation for them that are in Christ Jesus. What is that that has been said against you? What is that that the enemy has been accusing you of? Tonight you are using the word of God to revoke everything that has stood up against your destiny. I reverse it because it cannot stand. I reverse it because it is not permitted to stand. Every word contrary to the word of God that has been released concerning my destiny can never prosper. It can never prosper because the word of God says, let there be no condemnation. Who is it that want to release any word contrary to the word of God concerning my destiny? It will not stand, but it will die in the name of Jesus because the word of God has the capacity to produce results in my life. The Bible, the Bible says God's word will not return to him void. When he has said it, it will manifest. It will come to pass because our God is a God of integrity. What has he said concerning your life? What has he said concerning your destiny? What has he said? See your life through the word of God. It is a mirror that shows you the beautiful things that God has spoken concerning you. What is it that the enemy has been lying to you about? You are not good. You are not good. You are good. You are wonderful. Absolutely brilliant. They don't want you because they, are, they can't manage what you carry. They can't stand what you carry. And so they don't want you. They're looking for strategies to make you feel bad. But I tell you today, the reason why they're trying to talk you down, the reason why they're trying to make you feel low is because they can't stand what you carry. Value yourself. Come on. Value yourself. Put some value in yourself. Walk with your head high. He that is in you is greater than he that's in the world. The voice of the accuser has no capacity to bring your head down. Jesus has lifted up your head. Now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies. Your head has been lifted up above those. Those who want you down. Those in the likes of Haman that have been rejoicing and jubilating and waiting for the day that they will hear evil reports concerning you. They will wait for eternity because the, re re the report they are expecting concerning you, God will never permit it. It will never happen. The only news they will hear about you is like that of Joseph. Joseph became a prime minister. The next time the father heard about him was that Joseph wants him to come and enjoy blessings. That is how God works. That is how God works. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy is expecting concerning your life, it will not stand. Whatever the enemy is expecting concerning your children, it will not stand. In the name of Jesus, we revoke and we rebuke and we cancel every witchcraft prophecy. Kale sacrentariata. Every witchcraft prophecy, every witchcraft decrees concerning your destiny, it is revoked, it is cancelled in the name of Jesus. Le paros kenemo zotoriata, rika no mazanda rakina masanda, e platoras kenemo zondoriata, rigede brantok le tai, le tete res kenemo zotoriata, rigede gede, rebe lende res kenemo zubreke, in platoras kenemo zubreke, e ke lende regede gede gede gede, begin to say it to yourself, begin to say it. Kaya la sugarakiata. Let the archives of witchcraft be set on fire. Come on, begin to pray. Pray for yourself. Every witchcraft verdict concerning my destiny. Type it, say it. Every witchcraft verdict concerning your life and destiny is hereby revoked in the name of Jesus. Who can make a decree concerning you when God has spoken? Where is that archive located? Release the fire of God. Come on. Elijah did say 
with the altars of Baal? Who is it that wants to raise their head up against the word of God concerning my destiny? Let the fire, let the fire of God divorce such altars. Let the fire of God destroy such archives. In the name of Jesus, wherever records have been kept, wherever records have been kept in the kingdom of darkness, such records are set on fire. Hui, masukre interiata. Records, satanic archives are set on fire. In the name of Jesus, begin to declare it. Wherever archives, wherever the archives are located, wherever the archives are located, shakataraki ne mozotoria, libaroski ne mozotoriata, they are set on fire. In the name of Jesus, their strong rooms are set on fire. Their storehouses are set on fire. In the name of Jesus. Whatever is holding on to that which, is, which belongs to you. Whatever is holding on to anything valuable that belongs to you. Tonight they are releasing it back to you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, shaleka tarakine mazundaria. I just want you to speak in tongues for, the few, for a few minutes. Speak in tongues for a few minutes. The Lord is showing me something on the earth. We are going to make a decree on the earth. We are going to make a decree on the earth. Malika Toraskine Mozotoria. Impa Lozokora Kine Mozotoria. Inka Laparakiata. Please speak in tongues for the next few minutes. Just speak in tongues. Maleke Teraskine Mozotoria. We are going to pray concerning the earth. Lesa Katapra Kina Masukete. Every decree made on the earth, every decree made on the earth, every decree made on the earth, every decree made on the earth. Lay Baroski ne mozodoriata, la bayata raskana mazandara kine mozotoro, emplato raskana mazandara kiata. Every decree made on the earth is hereby revoked, is hereby cancelled in the name of Jesus. Who is it that can speak when the Lord has already spoken concerning you? Every decree, whoever has consulted with the earth because of you, may the Lord release his fire against them. Whoever has consulted with the earth because of you, may the Lord release his fire against them. In the name of Jesus, come on, begin to pray. Wherever consultations have been made with the earth concerning your destiny, concerning your life, may the Lord release his fire against them. Hey, the Bible said in the book of Psalm 106, they envied Moses and Aaron, the high priest. But God caused the earth to open. There was earthquake. I didn't say it. It is there in the scripture. There was earthquake. The earth opened up and they were buried. I love the NIV. It says they were buried. They were buried. And the fire of God came upon them even as they were buried in masses. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Whoever has consulted with the earth just because they want to cut your life short. Whoever has consulted with the earth, they have collaborated, joined forces to consult with the earth in order to cut short your life. In order to cut short your blessing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Their consultation will backfire. It will backfire in the mighty name of Jesus. That with the desire of you, it shall be like Haman. It will be their portion. They consulted with the earth in order for you to die. But you will not die because the Lord has not ordained for you to die. Whoever has consulted with the earth will be the one to answer the call. This is how it is. Haman prepared the gallow. Mordecai's time has not yet come. Haman wanted to die, so he prepared gallows. For Mordecai, thinking he wants to kill Mordecai. But God says, because you have prepared the gallow, you will be the one to die. How can you prepare a casket for somebody whom God has not appointed to die? Whoever has consulted with the earth to cut short your life simply because they don't want to see you be who God wants you to be. The Lord God Almighty will cause the earth to open up according to his word in Psalm 106 and they shall pay the same price. They shall be the ones to taste that which they desire of you in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not die but you will live. You will live to declare the praise of God. You will live to enjoy the fruit of your labor. Nobody labors in vain. Kaya lo zakara kine mozoto. You will not build houses. Other people will live in it. You could not live in it because something happened halfway. It is impossible. It is impossible. It is impossible. 
le baros ke ne mozun doriata im plato raskana na mazan tariata im paros ke le bozupre im taros ke ne bozoto le baraskana mazan daraki de bozoto ria im kalle barata brasa katara keke im plato raskana mazan tara please pray this prayer it is important it is important. Majority of people are very careless when it comes to certain prayers. They feel it's too, somehow, it's not, it's somehow. But listen, when the Holy Spirit deals with me, He gives me what He wants me to deal with, what He wants to be addressed at that point in time. I don't come with any notebook to read any prayer point. The Spirit of God just downloads the prayers. As He downloads it, I release it. That is how God works with me. That is how God works with me. When he gave me the assignment to go and speak to the destinies of people, to speak to the womb of people's destiny, to speak them and release them into their, into their harvest, into their manifestation, the Lord did not give me a passenger jet. He gave me a rescue jet. A rescue, it's like this American plane, um, war plane, the one that carries armored cars. The one that carries armored cars. He gave me that. He said, this is yours. So in that big plane, there are armored cars. There are people who have been rescued. The, the plane is still going from nation to nation, rescuing people. In it, there are ammunition. So when I say the Lord says this, the way we pray, if it's different from the way you've been praying before, I'm sorry, but this is how God leads me to pray. I don't come with notebook to read prayer points. As, as soon as I start praying, I release my to the Holy Spirit and he begins to download to me what I need to pray for the for things to be addressed so if you're if you whatever your issues are please just be committed to the prayers because it is what the Holy Spirit wants to be addressed in your life that is why he's bringing the prayer points that is why he's bringing this prayer I don't know why the Lord is saying consultations have been made with the earth, but I refuse to allow such happen. You will not be caught short. In your days of youth, Abraham was 75 when God says go and begin your life. Who says you're going to die now? Who says wherever they have conspired to cut you short, the Lord is angry about it. The Lord is angry about it. It will not prosper in the name of Jesus. It is cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus. It is cancelled in the name of Jesus. Have you not checked the news lately? Check the news lately and see the ages of people dying like chicken. They are not even up to 60. Not even up to 50. And you are wondering what is happening. Jesus, whatever has been ordained, orchestrated, decided to happen in order to cut short your manifestation, it backfires in the name of Jesus. The word of God says with long life, he will satisfy you. You will not be cut out in your season of manifestation. Jesus, on the cross, Jesus said it is finished. His assignment was finished and he went. You will not be cut off. At the inception of your assignment. Assignment is about to begin and then suddenly, God forbid, it will not happen in the name of Jesus. You will eat the fruit of the land. You will eat the good of the land in the mighty name of Jesus. In the likes of Haman, they shall be carried in their own gallows. People in the likes of Haman, they shall be carried in their own gallows. As for you, with long life, the Lord will satisfy you as for you with long life the Lord will satisfy you in the mighty name of Jesus I pray for everyone co connected to this ministry oh God with long life you will satisfy us I always say to I always say to the to everyone connected to the ministry the first thing I tell them do not ever say a man is the founder of this ministry it is God who is the founder of this ministry the next thing the second thing I tell them it is God who is the general overseer of this ministry it is not a man 
It is not a man. There is no man who has the capacity to find the ministry. Found it as how? Found it how? Jesus ought to be the foundation of any ministry. You cannot take his position and expect him to show up. This is one thing that we do here. Jesus is the founder. He is the general overseer. There is no man that has the capacity to oversee the lives of thousands of people. He has to oversee my own life as well. So he's overseeing our lives because he's meeting our individual needs. We all have needs. So he's meeting our needs. I cannot meet your need and that's why I cannot be your overseer. Jesus is. This is one thing we are very, very careful about in this, in this mission, in this vision, and in this ministry. We value the place of God and we give him that which is due for him. And that's why God has been fighting. God has been fighting. God has been preserving. There is no time that I will say, you know, even yesterday, there was something that happened. It was just a simple thing, but my children were all in shock. It was very hot here yesterday, really hot. And I said, Lord, I wish the rain will fall. I didn't stop there. I continued to sing, Father, send down the rain. It's too hot. And I went to bed at night. And my children woke me up in the morning. And they said to me, Mom, look outside. It's rained. It rained all through the night. It was very heavy. And it's no longer warm. And I just smiled. Because indeed, God has answered my prayer. And they said to me, God has answered your prayer because we heard you crying for rain yesterday, asking the Lord to send rain. This is how it happens. It works. The little things you think God cannot, you know, the little things you might just think you will deal with on your own. Why don't you release them to the Lord? Release them to the Lord. Release them to the Lord. Tonight we are praying. We've just finished with the earth. So now we are going to the waters. In the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever consultations have been made concerning you. Concerning your destiny. Your household. Your glory. Concerning your ministry. Your assignment. Anything around you. Your children. Wherever they have consulted with the waters. Because of you. Tonight the blood of Jesus is able to cancel every consultations. Whether the consultations were made before you were born. Whether the consultations were made when you were a baby. Whosoever has consulted with the waters because of you. Tonight the blood of Jesus invalidates every of such consultations. In the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever the effect of such consultations has been significant. Have been, have been affecting your lives. Tonight Jesus. Jesus say, I put an end to it and I have restricted access. Access is restricted. After tonight, whoever will dare to consult with anything because of you, whoever will take your name from any to any altars, the Lord will deal with them. You will hear of it and you will know indeed that God is alive. Tonight, after tonight, whoever will summon the courage, whoever will take it upon themselves to carry your name from one altar to the other, the Lord will deal with them. He will deal with them. He will deal with them and it shall not be hidden. You will hear it and you will know it is God fighting for you. I want you to open up your mouth and begin to pray. Father, wherever consultations have been made with the waters, wherever consultations have been made with the waters concerning my destiny, concerning my children, anything you want to ask the Lord concerning any areas of your life, may such be revoked in the name of Jesus. Remember, Esther didn't just rejoice that Mordecai died. But she took a step to the king and said there need to be a revocation. There are some things that need to be revoked. There are some things that need to be cancelled. There are some things that need to be cancelled. 
She took a step. She went to the king and said, there is a decree that has been made. It has to be canceled. It has to be canceled. And so in the mighty name of Jesus, you are declaring with your mouth, anointed mouth of yours, everything that has been done, every consultations that have been made against my life with the waters, it is hereby revoked in the name of Jesus. Seba lu zimbra kora kina masumble tara kine mozotoria enkla tora skana mazandaria tarige de rablo simbra kora singe de rakine mozonto leba roskine mozombre kene mazanta empla tora skana mazandaria tarige de brando gle impra toka rakine mozondoria ta inka leba raskana mazanta come on just release those words release those words release those words father let it be cancelled. Let it be cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus. Majority of you might not be aware of it. Somebody might have just done it behind the scene. In the morning they smile with you but you never knew what they are capable of doing behind you. Whosoever has secretly consulted with the waters because of me, Jesus, let such be reversed in the mighty name of Jesus. Let such be reversed in the mighty name of Jesus. Whosoever has consulted behind the scene with the waters concerning you, concerning your children, concerning your finances or even your ministry. May God reverse it. May God revoke it. May God cancel every of their decrees. Everything that everything they intend to be your portion as a result of such consultations. Jesus. Malipa Roska Namazandara Kiata Impra toka ranke da bazanda rakina mazanda riata. Impla tora skana mazanda rakine ne mo zombre kenda blo saga de brake ya. Impa lo zabara kana mazanta ra. Impla tora skana mazanda rakiata. Impa lo zebra kora kene mo zondoria. Impra toka la baraka na mazanda ra. Impra tok lantara sige de rakene mo zondoria. Inka lo zambara kene mo zondoria. Inka le baraska na mazanta. Can I go a bit deeper? Can I go a bit deeper? Can I go a bit deeper? Kaleba Roska Namazanta. In Paroska Labo Zubre Kene Mozotoria. In Karasa Blanta Rakene Mozontoria. Tonight, this afternoon when we were praying, the Lord opened my eyes to certain things that happens in the spiritual realm. And we began to pray concerning clouds, clouds of darkness. Clouds that has been going with people. The Lord opened my eyes to see certain clouds going with people. He said this cloud is the reason why a lady might be 100% beautiful, a million percent beautiful, but there is no one who, there is no one who acknowledges her beauty because there is something that is shielding her beauty. There is something that is shielding her beauty such clouds such clouds these same clouds resisted the answers to daniel's prayer for 21 days yes it's the prince of persia but there is a cloud there there is something there it stood as a limitation it stood as a resistance what is this cloud that has been going with people i remember there was a lovely story bishop oyedekbo said when he started his ministry Nothing. Chairs were empty. He would pray and pray. So he decided to go into fasting and prayers. Until the Lord opened his eyes to see the dark cloud that was concealing the glory of the ministry. And the Lord told him to deal with that cloud. As soon as he prayed, the cloud was destroyed. The ministry began to attract people. People began to come. People began to associate with the ministry. And the Lord began to open my eyes this afternoon while we were praying. To see such clouds that has concealed the glory of majority of people. It has concealed the beauty of majority of people. You will see a king walking as a slave. You will see a king being misunderstood. You know, he's misrepresented. 
people see a king and they call him a slave because there is nothing to show that he is a king. The thing that ought to show that he is a king has been concealed. So they call a king a slave and call a slave a king. Tonight we are praying. If you are ready to pray, I am ready to pray. Because my priority is for you to be all that God has ordained for you to be. Because when you are blessed, I am fulfilled. When you are blessed, I am excited. When you are achieving the things that God wants you to achieve, I am excited. So I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus. That whatever is sitting on any area of your life, concealing, concealing anything concerning your destiny, concealing anything concerning your destiny, may the Lord take away such clouds in the name of Jesus. A couple of years ago, the Lord showed me a lady. This lady is a young lady, but she has the face of an old woman very old woman and prior to that the lady you know when we were discussing she said to me some concerns she was having and when the Lord showed me that revelation she had the shape and the body the figure of a, of a young lady but the face of a great grandmother and I woke up and I started praying I started praying and I went back to sleep and I found out that I saw a man on white. He came and he took away the mask of that old woman. He took away the face of that old woman from the lady and gave her an, a younger face. And I woke up and I knew this was the issue that lady was going through. Something was concealing her true beauty. Something was concealing her true beauty. So people misrepresented her. People, you know, the right people, if it's a lady who is not yet married, you understand? The right people wouldn't come. You are wondering, why are this, why, why is it that the people that come to me are certain kind of people? They look a certain way. Because you are not seeing what they are seeing. What they see is different from what you are carrying. What you think you are seeing on that mirror. I pray for you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus that anything that has been concealing your glory, that has prevented people from relating to you the way they ought to relate, that has prevented people from assisting you, helping you, supporting you the way they ought to. It has pre prevented the right people from coming in contact with you. I pray in the name of Jesus that such clouds be taken away. Malipa Roskanama Sugariata. Such clouds be taken away. Every cloud that has been hovering around your finances. Every cloud that has been hovering around your finances. I pray in the name of Jesus that such clouds are hereby removed. They are taken away in the name of Jesus. How come ideas come and you don't do anything with those ideas? But somebody else have the ideas and they are making so much out of the same ideas ideas you have what is it that has clouded your visions your visions they have clouded your visions you cannot make anything useful make anything good out of the things that God is showing you visions come ideas for great things come but they are not well utilized Jesus they are not well utilized any power any power in the mighty name of Jesus that is concealing the glory, your financial glory, that is concealing, that is concealing your true beauty, that is preventing people from relating with you associating with you and doing the right things they could have been doing in your life such are removed in the name of Jesus such are removed in the name of Jesus such are removed in the name of Jesus such are removed in the mighty name of Jesus oh shaleka toras kanama sambra kinama sandariata Remember what we are doing here. We are reversing evil decrees. 
we are reversing evil decrees. Haman died, yes, we are rejoicing, but there is a decree that Haman made. There is a decree that was put in motion that the Lord is revoking tonight. He is reversing it tonight and he is creating access for you. After tonight, after this prayer, you will enjoy access like you've never enjoyed before in the mighty name of Jesus. In areas where doors have been shut against you, doors will supernaturally be opened for you in the mighty name of Jesus. In areas where you have been rejected, in places where you have been rejected, I pray for you in the name of Jesus that the same people who rejected you, they will send for you and they will bless you. The same people who said no to you because they could not understand the, what they were seeing. They could not make sense of what they were seeing. The same people, they will begin to see the light of God in your life. They will begin to see the glory of God radiating all over you. Everything that was intended to conceal your true beauty, it has been taken off and God is releasing his glory, he's releasing his light upon you. You will begin to Ikaloza Karakiata. You will begin to shine like never before. Your countenance and your appearance is changing. Jesus, it is changing. It is changing. When people see you, they will say, This is a different person. This person has changed. There is something about you that has changed. This shall be your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever has concealed your beauty, it is taken off in the name of Jesus. Whatever has concealed your true beauty, it is taken off in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you. People will see you for who God has made you to be. Who God has made you to be. Your helpers will see you. They will recognize you. And they will help you. Exactly how the Lord wants it to be. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father we give you all the glory. Father we give you all the honor. Father we give you all the adorations. Kasha the Lord says a lot of people has gone through difficulty. There have been challenges as a result of this. There have been challenges as a result of this. When people see you, they misunderstand you. They misinterpret you. They begin to, you know, they, they, it's just like they don't like you. Please forgive them. It's not because they don't like you. It is because of what they are seeing. But that is history now because the Lord has taken away those things. The Lord has stripped you of those things because they are not his in the first place. They are not of God. They are not of God. It was your negligence that brought about some of those. Collaboration, association. It was your negligence that took you to the wrong places where they clouded you with a lot of things. It looked like you were going to a place where you would get help. You found out later on that this place that was intended to be a place of help became a place that concealed your glory. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. That wherever you went to, wherever you went to with your legs, that the doors, that opened up the doors for attacks, strange attacks to your life. May God in his mercy shut those doors. May God in his mercy shut those doors. Whatever you have, whatever has been released, whatever has been released, because this is what the Lord has, is showing me. This is what the Lord is showing me. Some of you, it is the place you went to. You went there with your good heart. You thought it was a place you could find peace and joy. But in that place, you were clouded. In that place, something strange came as a covering and concealed your glory. 
But the Lord says tonight, I strip you of everything that was intended to conceal your beauty, to conceal your light. Tonight, I release light into your destiny. Tonight, the Spirit of God is releasing light into your destiny. Wherever anything has been orchestrated to conceal your glory, to conceal your true beauty, your true beauty, the Lord is taking off all those things. Tonight you are receiving your true identity. You are born of God and so you are a carrier of divinity. Wherever you go, the light of God goes. Whatever, was, whatever happened as a result of ignorance, the Lord has taken it away. And tonight he's turning your life around for good. Remember, God is creating access. He's creating access in the areas where access was restricted. In the areas where access was restricted, the Spirit of the Lord says tonight access is granted. There is no door that will be shut against your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. After now, 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 as soon as we are rounding up this prayer, right now, any door that was shut against you, the Lord says, go back again. It will never refuse you or reject you. It will accept you. Because the things that made the door shut against you have been taken away from you. Right now, you go as the light of God. And when the light of God appears, there is nothing that, that can stop the presence of God. There is nothing that can stop you from achieving and accessing those things that God has ordained for you. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. The strange doors of supernatural blessings shall be opened unto you in the name of Jesus. I don't know who it is that has been going through financial difficulties. I hear the Lord says financial doors are going to be opened. Strange financial doors. Strange financial doors. The Lord says they shall be opened unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus, financial doors shall be opened unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, Leza Gada Branta Kila Bozo Gorianta, Impratanta Lata Raska Namazanta Riata. I see money being released into the right hand, into the left hand. I don't know what you have committed yourself to do, but the Lord says, I will bless the works of your hands. The Lord says, I will release the resources that you need. Strange financial Financial doors, supernatural doors opening up. In the mighty name of Jesus, it shall not be like before. It shall not be like this before. It shall not be the way it used to be because tonight you have encountered God. Tonight you have encountered God. Tonight you have encountered the presence of God. Let's break in the mozotoriata. In palo zebra kora kina mazantaria. In kalata raska na mazantara kine mozotoria. Just declare it, declare it. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. Come on, la subra kina mazantariata. Shallege de branto kara kine mozotoria. Liba roska na mazantaria. Go with this anointing. Be, whatever you lay your hands to do, the Lord will release blessings so much that you will see have a spring forth. Have a spring forth. You will see the result quickly. You will be wondering, what is this? How did this happen? But it is the grace of God that has multiplied what is in your hands. Was that not what Jesus did? He took away their, he took their little bread and their little fish. He blessed it and it began to increase. This is what the Lord will do for you. He has released that impartation. Whatever you touch will multiply. Whatever you touch will increase. He shall command financial blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Leba roska namazantaria. Shaleba roska namazandara ki namazandara ki debozotoria. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We'll give you all the glory, Father. We'll give you all the honor. We exalt you, Most High God. We magnify you because there is none like you. Father, we thank you for that which you've done tonight. We thank you for that which you'll continue to do in our lives. Father, we ask you to take all the glory. Let the glory be to you and you alone, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. For prayer answers, we say thank you, Lord. For testimonies, we say thank you, Lord. For doors that you have opened, Father, we say thank you. 
for healing deliverance oh God we say thank you for all that you have done oh God we say thank you le paroski ne mozoberi ataras kalabasandara in paros kalabo shandara kiata le paroska na mazantara we say thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord Thank you, Father. We give you all the glory. We shield every prayer with the blood of Jesus. Every answer with the blood of Jesus. Individuals, as many of us that have connected with this prayer, and as many that will connect in the future, we shield every one of us with the blood of Jesus. That which God has given to us, the Lord alone is preserving it. That which God has given to us, the Lord is sustaining it in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Shatarakina Masanta. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Thank Spirit. You, Thank you for joining us. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. God bless you. So we normally meet on Friday at 11, 11 p.m. for a, a midnight prayer. And then we meet on Saturday, 6 p.m. So every week we meet Friday and we meet Saturday. So please, tomorrow we're going to be meeting at 6 again. If you are free, please join us. Let us pray. God is faithful. We are not going to get tired of praying. We are continuing to pray because there is power in prayer. Jesus prayed and so much happened in his, in his earthly assignment. And he gave us the mantle to pray. So we are going to continue to pray. And as we pray, we will see the hands of God turning things in our life. Turning things in, around in our lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you for joining us. Please invite somebody and let us know, you know, and join us tomorrow. God bless you. Good night. Bless you.